Hello, everyone. Welcome. Today we have some challenging 2D exercise. We are doing some optimization question. For example, I have a triangle here. I want to draw a circle or a square or a rectangle or four circle inside the triangle with maximum size. So this is a challenge in mathematics, but because this is AutoCAD, we can do it easily. So let's take a look. First, I will draw the triangle. I will split the screen by typing the command V pause. Okay. And then I select vertical. Okay. Now I zoom in this side first. Okay. I uh, maybe I do this. Okay. So first I will draw a triangle of this size. To draw this one, I can draw a nine horizontal. Type 50, space bar, space bar to finish. And then I draw a circle, 35 on one side, and another circle, space bar to repeat last command, and another circle, center at the end point, and 25, okay? And then I can connect them by using 9. Okay, and I will join them by type the J, Select everything by window, space bar. Okay, so this is the triangle I need. I will erase the circle. Now to create other things. Mm, maybe I start with this one. This is the most easy one. Okay, I will make copy of this. Okay. I put it on the side. For drawing a circle with maximum size inside of a triangle, I can do Tension, tension, tension. Okay. And then select each size. Okay. So that's the easy one. And next, I will do copy this one again. Okay. For the square, I can do it this way. Oops. First, I draw a rectangle. I click any pawn and I make sure. And I make sure I'm going 45 degree. I already enable the 45 degree here, polar. Okay, so I make sure it's 35 degree and touching the horizontal line to get the intersection. So this rectangle now will touch the hypotenuse and also will touch the horizontal line. And then I draw X9, XL. I draw a construction line X9 from this point to the corner of the square. Okay. And then I will type SC scale. Select the rectangle and using the corner as the base point and reference our original length. Reference length. Click here to here to represent the reference length and final length will be this one here okay why it works because if you look at the locus of this corner point here it is along this x9 just like the corner point here along this line and the edge here along this line Okay, and all start with this base point. So if you scale this up and down, let me show you. Let's see, space bar, and just click and move. You can see it always follow that. Okay, so that's the tricks. Okay, next will be the rectangle. Okay, mm, I will copy this file. Here, let's see. For rectangle, I start with a rectangle of size 2 to 1. Let's see. If I move my mouse, I can see this is around 10. 
so I will just type 10 comma 5 okay so this is a ratio 2 to 1 and I type M spacebar and L for last object spacebar and I click this point I make sure this is a long okay after that will be the same as the square XL spacebar click and click okay and SC spacebar previous selection set P because I select before and spacebar this is the base point reference I'll click two point to define the original length and the final length will be here okay so that's the rectangle and finally the full circle let me see I copy this again let me put it here okay so to start with I will actually draw a circle first this one we I need to do it differently I click any point let me see let's keep it uh, of size of radius 5 and then I can use copy command make sure object snap caution is on then I can copy the rest of the circle with a single copy command so select spacebar and I will touch this one and this cordon and get this base point click and then I will touch it and move it down so that's the one touch it move it to the side and touch these two point okay to get this corner okay Next, I will draw a line from the center of circle. Tap and shift white mouse button to get the context menu and select perpendicular and click here. And do the same. Spacebar tries to repeat the line command. Click center and then shift white mouse button and select perpendicular and click here. Okay? And then I will type XL for X9, O for offset, and T for the true, and select this line, and I will get this point. Do the same for the other one here. Okay. And I will do X9 horizontal and click on this point, spacebar to finish. Now let me clean up something so I erase this one and this guy and this guy. Okay. Now I can trim away the extra line by TR spacebar, select all the construction line here, and then trim them by the crossing. Okay. Next I will do SC scale. I will select everything, spacebar and I click this as space point and I will type R for reference okay original length I click here to here and final length should be 50 so 50 now this is a uh, four circles inside a triangle okay so hope you like this exercise bye bye